Welcome to another on Enter Flash tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this 3D door effect where you start off with a wall and a door and you go through it into this new universe, this new world. And I'm going to show that to you. This is what it looks like when it's complete, but let's see the doors. Doors open and boom, into a new universe or a park. A new universe. It could be a park in another world. You never know. Let me show you how to set that up. Let's get into it. You want to create a new document, and in that new document, we want to create a few layers. Uh, we're going to create three layers to be exact. Just add three here, and we'll lock the first one. We'll rename it AS3. That's all our action script. The second one, we're going for content. That's where we're going to put the content. And the last but not least, that's where we're going to put the background. The first thing you want to do is probably put in your background. And once you put in your background, you can pretty much lock the background layer. So let me select my background frame and go into my library and uh, take it out. I already have this um, the forest bitmap. It's pretty big, but I'm just going to use my align tool to size it up to the stage width and height. And there we go. Now with the background all sized up what you want to do is actually make the background into a movie clip so you're just going to select your background pressing f8 you can go for basic and we want the registration point in the center i'm just going to name it bg and press ok great with your background still selected let's go inside the properties and give it an instance name so the instance name bg great so now we have that now we're, we're i'm going to lock the background layer now it's time for the content the content will consist of two doors and a wall i used wooden doors but i'm not going to use the wooden doors i'm just going to use regular rectangles the way to make the doors if you're guessing or wondering is you basically just get some sort of wooden door that you can find an image or take a picture of and uh, cut it out and make it into a movie clip so if you want to use those doors again, just substitute what I'm doing with rectangles with, with the image. So I'm just going to go with the rectangle tool. And uh, what colors shall my door be? You know, you know, there we go. I got the color. Pink for the ladies. You know about those ladies. They love pink. They love pink stuff. They like pink things. So, okay. Now I have one half of my doors created. I'm creating two doors. So what I do is create that door. F8, I'm going to make this into a movie clip. We want to change the registration port. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is name the door, of course, and the registration is center uh, to the left. So we center it to the left. So your registration point will be right here. If you think about it, that's where the hinges are on a door. Onto the side, I'm just going to hold Alt to copy this door. Now I have two doors with the door that I just copied. I hold, I keep it selected, and what we're going to do is modify it by, and we're going to flip it the other way. We're going to do a horizontal flip because we want the hinge to be on this side. And the way we do that is we go to modify, transform, uh, flip horizontal. Now my registration point is on the correct side. I am happy. All right, so I'm just going to. Um, put those doors together really close selecting both the doors control G to group them both and the reason why I'm grouping them is to center them so with my line tools I'm centering them All right, now I can break them apart and now I'm gonna name this door one and door two in the instance name now that I have my doors named here's the tricky part creating the wall it's not really that tricky but what you have to do is essentially you have to make a flat image not not an image but a, sh a shape of some sort around the door so what we have to do is find a way to create one that's around the door so the way we're going to do that is by simply going to, for our rectangle tool and uh, we're not going to put in a fill so I'll, I'll bring that over there my rectangle tool selected they're right there go inside the properties and inside of the uh, fill I'm just going to click the no fill and let's draw that good old rectangle so I draw a rectangle and what I'm gonna do is basically line it up with the width and height of the stage and I'm gonna use the align tool to do that so align the width and the height okay great we're gonna use the rectangle tool again and we're basically just gonna go all the way around the two doors now since we have the two outlines now we're gonna fill it in with the color that we want the color that I choose is why not something crazy we want to select it hit F8 
create that and make that a movie clip. Wall, and we're making sure the registration point is in the center. Okay, we have wall, going back into properties, giving an instance name of wall. All right, we have everything set up. The only thing that you probably want to do is just press control down while selecting the wall. That makes sure that the wall is behind our two wall, our two doors. Now it's time to start coding. The first thing we want to do is import the tween classes. So import and fl dot transitions. Since I'm going to uh, import this uh, three transitions, I'm just going to copy and paste this three times over. All right, let's get on to the first one, and that is the easing dot asterisk. This will bring in everything from the uh, easing. This next one tween, okay, and now we want to bring in the tween event tween event all right great uh, the next thing we want to do is create a uh, AT which is going to be our array tween which is we're going to data type it to an array equals new array and now we can start uh, adding in some animation that that's what we are here for we, the thing we want to add is AT dot push we're pushing into the array tweens so push new tween and parentheses, close parentheses, close parentheses. So in here, the first thing we want to do is we have to write in the uh, the name of our object that we we're referencing. For now, we are referencing the door. That is door one, comma. The next thing we want to do is mess with a certain property, and that certain property is rotation y. So if you're not using CS4, then uh, sorry, can't do this. The next item is we want to control the function, which is easing, or no, we want to do strong dot ease in. Okay, the next thing we want to do is where should this rotation begin? At zero. Where should it end? At negative 90. And should we use seconds? True, we should use seconds. We, are, we can just basically copy this because it's the same thing for the other door, except it's called door two. Uh, the next thing we want to write is AT brackets dot zero and we want to add an event listener to the first tween which is the door one what we're adding is to see once a tween is done we want it to do a certain thing so and that certain thing of course is make the motion of coming forward so we'll call it go in All right great so once that the doors are open then we will proceed to come in so let us come in so let's create that function For the go in function, we want to actually go in, so we're going to mess with the z-axis of every single thing. So let's just do that. And the way we'll do that is we'll just oop, we'll just copy the code from above and paste it because you know setting up the tween is it's all the same jazz. Um, we're gonna do door one, door two, and I'll just paste it again. And we're just going to change up a few options. So uh, in the options, we're changing it. Instead of Y rotation, we're going to change to Z. Z. That's Z for door one, door two, and also the wall. And we, we know it starts at Z. And we probably want to go maybe negative 300 on the Y axis. So negative 300 for everyone. For everyone. So let's see how this looks. So we have our motion opening, and after it's done, it goes to the go in function. The go in function brings our z axis really close to the screen. Let's see if we kind of walk through this the door. So let's test out this movie. Oh, it seems to be an error. What is the error? I see that I made a mistake in um, all of this. I forget to put a duration. I put in a number, uh, I wanted it true for the seconds but I did not put the number of seconds so in between the negative 90 I'm just gonna put two seconds on everything so I'm just gonna copy and paste this too now with the two seconds now let's try it out All right, it opens and we're in there the only thing is it's going the wrong way as far as the door is being open so instead of uh, negative 90 let's just keep it to 90 so opened up and we go right through and that was it It, because you saw it was not a crazy amount of things going on a lot of copying and pasting 
open the pink door Boom. now um the one thing that you might have noticed is when you're when it was going in the uh, the trees got a little bit bigger so what you would do is just probably just copy and paste two of these and make a tween on the scale the x scale and the y scale of your um, background um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to rate, subscribe, comment, and uh, if you run by my website, you can get the FLA. Also, while you're there, click on the Add to put a few pennies through the door so we can save the trees inside of the picture.